Hi all. Today we will be talking about Azure Pod Services. Uh, let me give an a brief introduction of myself before we get started into the session. Um, this is Bargavi here. I am an M Tech graduate from Bethpelani, and uh, I am an uh, Microsoft certified trainer as well. And I know technologies like my RPA, Azure, UiPath, and Pega. And uh, apart from that, uh, I am also a Microsoft certified data scientist. And uh, this is my LinkedIn ID. Feel free to get connected with me. Okay. Let's see what bot it is. What bot is? Um, bot is something that is used to create. Uh, that is used to have a conversational way of either text or graphics or by speech. Um, bots are mainly called as software bots, and in industry there are many software, um, many many tools that are used to create software bots. and uh, this is something like uh, what what we do what the human does an interaction and uh, this is also an entity with capability to mimic the human action what we does will be mimicked by the bot and uh, whatever we does will be performed by the bot that is the bot's usage let's see what are the what are the services that are presented by azure for bot services um bot service will have few different terminologies which are important for building the bot bot uh, one is bot service framework bot service framework is an sdk which is used for developing the bots and uh, bot service sorry bot framework tools is used to cover the end to end development of the workflow and then the bot framework service is used to send and receive the messages that happens between the channels and the bots which is um, uh, if you have some kind of skype then the bot framework service is used to send the messages between the uh, skype and the bot so the bot will reply you back with the help of the bot service framework and then you will also have the bot, uh, deployment and configuration options at azure uh, which will also be provided as a bot service framework uh, bot services as part of the azure let's see how the bot will work in azure um let's say you have multiple channels will be present here that can be of different sort like you can have skype or teams or you can have discord or or of any kind um and that gets inter uh, and that gets into the bot framework and the bot framework will then uh, work with the bot and then replies you back with whatever the details that you need and send back to the skype or uh, and replies back this is how uh, what we can see in uh, the the chat bot or something and let's see in deep of in deep of how does the bot work in azure uh, like take a scenario a user comes in and if he says a hi then what happens is in the bot with the help of the bot framework service it the bot framework service will then um, initiate the messages saying that the user has come in and he has put in a message saying that hi and uh, uh, what will happen is it will uh, the bot framework service will send the uh, http post response to your bot and then the bot will send a message saying that okay with a response to it and then um, what will happen is if he um, if he sends a, when he sends a message then the conversation is being updated right so the conversation is being sent there and then the bot will uh, bot will then uh, send a acknowledgement to that 
and uh, the message is what he types will be sent over here with the post message http post message and the bot will start then working on what needs to be the reply that needs to be done there and decides on the reply and then sends a post message saying that what he needs to send and then um, when the bot framework service has received the received the message it will then send the message saying that um, it has received and the bot will then acknowledge saying that it has then received the bot framework's service this is how uh, it would be basically you can um, you can see these kind of the these kind of the updates happening over the network right so that is how it would also work in bot framework service and your bot so uh let's also see what are the available services that you can interrogate with the bot there can be q and a makers that can be interrogated with your bot and then um what you can do is you can interrogate any kind of uh, rest service which is available which are made of uh, either which is of either uh, rest api or some kind of uh, apis that what you have been built that can be used to build and uh, to your uh, q and a maker uh, to your chatbot or q and a maker or that can be of any sort and then luis is something uh, which will be having the advanced technology of uh, artificial intelligence being built in it one is uh, luis is been expanded as language understanding intelligence service let's see in deep of what we have as types of chatbot types of chatbot basically depends on uh, basically depends on how you use those chatbots for one can be of informational chatbot and then next can be of transform transactional chatbot and then third can be of dynamic and contextual chatbot what is informational chatbot means is it just gives an information whether um, if you if you say hi then it would just say hi it will not think of what it needs what um, what it has been coded for it will not be thinking like uh, what does the ai mean and uh, it will not be doing more than that and then transactional chatbot is something like uh, when you give a response of hi then it would say it then you may have different kind of uh, wordings to it right so like uh, hi can be of hi hello or something of that sort when uh, when that's the thing then the transactional chatbots are being used like uh, when you have some kind of transaction to be happening over the bank or some kind of um transaction related things then you will be going with the transactional chatbot and then dynamic and contextual chatbot is something of sort which will have the ai and ml technologies being built to it when you have the uh, where you will be having the capability of thinking more than what it is coded like when um, when it's been dynamically uh, when it's when it's been dynamically told to uh, take the responses and reply back to them then that becomes the dynamical and uh, contextual chatbot and uh, let's see more of what is informational chatbot uh, what does informational chatbot is we will be having the we when it's kind of a uh, um when it does a uh, information um uh, when it delivers a information then it becomes a informational chatbot wherein you will be having a q and a maker or when you have the active directory also been included all the basic stuffs will have the azure bot services included in it which will be having the heart of the chatbot and uh, and then with the help of the a uh, bot service only you will be getting an response or uh, you will be getting an um a benefit out of it and then what we will be having is we will be having the iot device chatbot parent you can in parent you can add a iot device 
with your chatbot and with the help of that iot device you can uh, make it reply or you can connect it to a iot device and uh, make it work uh, like uh, uh, like what we do in some kind of uh, what we do in when you want to connect a fridge and say that it has to be turned off then uh, that becomes an iot device right so uh, that's kind of um that's kind of thing that what you can do and then commerce chatbot is something like what we can what we regularly see in uh, banks or uh, or any kind of websites that what we are undergoing and uh, what happens here is you can also you can have the uh, commerce chatbot been included in it and uh, that will have a reply back to your uh, chatbot with the help of the bot service framework and then that would send the reply uh, back to your pc or mobile or any kind of sort that what you have to do and uh, uh, one notable point is the devices what we have to reply back like um uh, where it needs the responses to be will not be get stopped somewhere like you can have it over mobile or you can also consume it over the pc or cloud or that can be of anything yeah uh let's see and demo of what we have what we what we saw right now what we need uh, first is when when you have a subscription of the when you have the subscription of azure then you can go inside the azure portal and uh, like what you do you can choose the resources of what you need and then um, you can click on the q and a maker and uh, you can start building the chatbot in it i am not going to give an brief introduction of what the q and a maker or uh, the other chatbots and we are not going to see that but i will just give an a uh, glimpse of what it uh, how it will work and how it how we have to do that so that we will be uh, we will be in a position of understanding what we saw in the theoretical part um like these are called as the cognitive services that are available in azure and uh, one such cognitive service is q and a maker so uh, when we click on the q and a maker we will be having an option to create it and when you create a q and a maker you all the resources that needs to be um, that needs to be created in azure will have a resource group to it and you have to create a resource group for it and uh, the resource group should also be of unique and uh, what happens is you will be having a resource location which is nearer to your place and uh, will give a name for it like uh, you will be having a unique name right so you can give that and uh, what you can do is you you can select the pricing tier based on what you want like if you want to go for some um uh, some production based thing then you can go for standard and then um if you just want to try out something and uh, if you are a student then you can um, or if you are learning something then you can go ahead and use the fri- free tier itself wherein you will be given an option of uh, trying trying the transactions till uh, which will be give, you will be given certain period of where uh, how you can use that azure like uh, if in this case what it is what it is is uh, you will be given three transactions per second and then you can have 100 transactions per minute so uh, when you go beyond that then your transaction gets failed we will not be testing it more than more than that right so i am just choo- choosing that and then uh, you will also having the 
search location also needs to be given and then you will also give the basic index of what you need to do um in this case i am choosing everything to be free as it's just a demo and then um you will also choose a location based on your limit and then you will be creating it once you create it you will get an option saying that it is created and post that what we have to do is we have to go for the knowledge the knowledge base has to be created so you have to go and uh, look for the knowledge base so just a second i am going for the knowledge base When you search in the portal itself you will be given an option of you will be given an option of K QA knowledge base and I do have a knowledge base already created for it which is QA knowledge base and uh, that can be reused here so uh, you you can what you can do is you can uh, go there and uh, just give a create it create to it just like what we did right now and then uh, you have to give the location and then you have to select the subscription based on that and uh, all those things will be there and this is the place when when you have created you will be having the analytics of whatever uh, whatever the data that you use like you can see here as it is a year uh, created yearly um, you will have the cpu percentage memory percentage data in and data out are being put in and you can view how these are used so uh, this will give you an overview of how much data you are using and whether you have to reduce it or whether you have whether you can improvise it those kind of things so with this help of with the help of this one you can also uh, get a get a response of uh, whether your chatbot works fine or not and uh, uh, how how you have to improvise it so after creating this one what you can do is you can go to your resource and uh, once the resource has been created what you would be doing is you will be having the subscription keys here what you can do is you can also integrate it with your um, uh, with your C sharp code or Python code and make it work or simply you can build a chatbot here itself so these are the things that what you can do um, and then apart from that yeah and then apart from that uh, you will be creating a you can also have the cost alerts being created for it like uh, when you have uh, when you go beyond the cost alerts right so uh, like when when you have multiple inputs being given or when you are sending multiple outputs there then what you can do is you can add the uh, cost cost budget to it and if you can add some kind of rule saying that if it goes beyond that then you can uh, you can trigger a mail of something of that sort so um, that's how you can make it work and what it's so simple to also deploy the code there um, in Azure you can you can deploy the code as well and uh, make it work when you give a response to it it will also send a response back to it so uh, this is how the chatbot will work and uh, i i almost gave a introduction of what we how we can make 
it work and how we can uh, use it and how we can be making it uh, make an alert bean work for it um and yeah uh, like in today's session what we saw is the brief of uh, brief of the azure bot service and its uses usages and then um how we, how may how, what are the type of the chatbots that are available and if you have any queries please connect with me in linkedin and get it sorted out thank you please do let us know if you have any queries thank you